good morning. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I bring you Three Looks One Palette with the Arkeo palette from Cleon Day. This is a recreation of the looks that Angelica Nyquist kindly provided for us in this piece of paper. Uh, the first look you'll see is this top one. I actually hated that look when I did it, but the more I look at it, the more I love it. And yeah, I'll have a chat to I'll have a chat to you about the looks afterwards uh, if you're interested in that and about what I think about the palette. But for now, let's get into these looks, recreating the Angelica Nyquist insert. Uh, thank you so much. All right, well, while we're here, let's just do a little swatching party on my face. We've got Monolith, Dead Sea, Erosion, Nomad, Fragment, Eichen, Glyph. Sundial, Sulfur, Neo, did not clean my head well on that one, Neo, Terrain, and Artifact. So this Alright, well I hope you enjoyed that little swatching party. So we're going in with the shade that I pointed at, which I've forgotten the name of. And I'm just blending that into the crease like Angelica has told us to do. And it's blending out beautifully. I like this shade. I'm looking forward to playing with it a bit more. This is going to be a weird voiceover because I'm going to cut out at some points because I think my original reactions are quite good and worth keeping in. Yeah, what the fuck? This is a beautiful bright blue. So I filmed this look a long time ago actually. I'm not even sure how long ago it was. It was around where just before I went to the engagement party get ready with me video. And I am very confused by how Angelica created this look. But that is part of the fun of recreating someone's look. And this is also back in the day when I used to talk through my tutorials. Um, instead of doing these lovely voiceovers. So, you know, I don't know if we're improved or what. It is a bit more fun. Now at least I've named the shades for myself. Monolith and Dead Sea. I'm trying to blend them together and create that dark shade that she's done. And I just can't get it. I don't know. And then I'm going packing in with a little shimmer here. Little spritzy spritz. And we are trying to get some more bang in for our buck here. I'm sorry, I can't remember all the shades at the moment. This is another video I am editing with about five hours to go until I fly overseas. So I thought I'd just come join you and do a nice little voiceover. Add a bit of hopefully entertainment for you to this eye look. I really appreciate you being here and watching this by the way. And I do quite like this look. This was a look that took a while to grow on me. I'm pretty sure I talk about it in this video. I'm sorry that this one's going to be a bit all over the place with this voiceover. But blending them through and it's it's looking nice. I don't know. It's pretty good. Alright. Let me bring you in and show you. Can you see it showing all its glorious patchiness? So I'm going to go into, I'm just going to dip back into that monolith shade on this brush and I'm just going to try and just put that on the top because this one is blending quite nicely but it's overpowering the blue. And see how it's just filled in all those holes. So I was hoping that with more blending the shadow would look similar. Oh, that wasn't the case. I don't know, my eyes might just not be made for that mix, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Alright, anyway, I'm just going to chuck on some mascara and be back. Alright, so I just chucked hourglass caution on, I'm just going to brush this powder away. And this is my final look. And I'm going to leave it, if I keep blending it, it's just looking shitter. And I think... From far away, we look alright. Anyway, I might come back once my hair's done and shit, but I don't know. So, I did not come back for this one and actually didn't use this palette for nearly two months after this. It just made me sad. And we are back to pretty much current day and I am all about the voiceover now. So, there's none of that in and out that we're going to get. So, going on with this lovely yellow shade. Look at that. It is bombing. This is a brush that Annette gave me and it is beautiful. Have you watched Annette's brush video? It is like one of my favourites. I need to go back and watch it again and buy all the brushes she recommended, recommends in that video. But 
I'm using my technique, and that's the little triangle on the outer edge. This is just my favorite. Uh, it gives me a little bit more precision in my blending and placement. And I do really like this combination. So going in with that gold shade, and we are just blending it down. Pretty sure I forgot to spritz it, which is why we're not getting that extra bang. These shades definitely do need some Fix Plus to just help them show up. Oh, I did remember. Here we are. Some Fix Plus, and we're dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. A little bit extra more bang I don't know I kind of feel like you need to use your finger for these but I do like how they came out so I'm going on my Mac 217 and just blending blending in the crease I think what I found from this is that Angelica really loves blending so this is another brush I believe Annette got me and this M421 and um, now I'm going in with Marc Jacobs Sunset on the inner corner and benefit their real mascara we are just putting this down I'm pretty sure I get myself in the eye this time but we've got a mascara declutter coming up and I'll have a quick chat about it then but here is the final look voila now I forgot lipstick I'm so silly I don't know does anyone else do that or is it just me anyway this is the third look I'm holding the palette upside down so I'm really sorry but you know it's just the way it is this was an interesting look that Angelica came up with because you put the brown in the crease and then you put this brown shimmer over the top of the shade that you just laid down So I feel like she was just trying to use the shades But she is one talented lady and we're putting some shimmer on our lid. We are packing 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 that shimmer in then something on the inner corner a little bit more shimmer building in a corner now we're going back into that grayish shade. These shades do tend to look a bit different once you do blend them out from what they are in the palette. But you know, it's pretty. We got that fallout. They are very loosely packed shadows. And I think, pretty sure they're handmade. And that's part of the reason. But they are beautiful. And this is probably the most neutral looks I've sort of done in one hit. And we're going into Kicker from Colourpop. This is a lovely silver waterline. I do not know why I don't use this more. I absolutely adore it. I've packed it. It's coming with me. The Colourpop BFF mascara. Just putting this down, laying it down, trying to build it up. And there we are. The final look. Let me know which one you liked. Thank you, Angelica. All right. So we are finished. This took me ages because that first look just pissed me off so much. Um, and it was stupid because eventually I realized that I did like it. That's sort of what happens sometimes when you're recreating someone else's looks, especially because Angelica's eye is very differently shaped from mine. So everything's just not going to look the same. And like, I love Angelica. Her channel was amazing and I love watching the looks that she came up with. The first look, the problem I had was just blending in, what was it, Monolith and Dead Sea. I just couldn't get that to work in the same regard she did. But the way I did it, I do actually love now. Silly. Uh, the expectations for the second look, it's quite fun, a little pop of blue. I don't think I've ever done that, but that's like the basic, like people who do neutrals all the time, that's how they use color. And then this final look is the topography eye cord. So the cool thing that Angelica did and was splitting it into quads. And I do wonder if the owners had told her to do that. So like this is look one, look two, look three. I feel like this palette, it works in quads, but I think it, you know, could have been better. Um, it does annoy me that I don't have it, it named. And if you see Angelica's uh, palette that she has, she just mentioned it in her palette collection video. They actually like hand wrote it underneath there and it looked beautiful. But obviously that would take more time. For me, this palette has been uh, semi-controversial for me. Um, I remember ages ago posting a video about how much I hate pre-orders. And then I spent 48 hours annoying Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner about if I should buy it or not because it was for sale again. Uh, she was like, Prue, if you like keep talking about it, just buy it. I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so I bought it. Um, I don't regret owning it. This insert, I've, I'm getting quite dirty because the, pal the colors are quite loosely packed and you can sort of see that kick up that I've caused from just using them. Um, it's very slim. And oh, you can bend it. Well, you can't really bend it back, but you can sit it flat, which is, I th you know, which is kind of a nice touch. I would have liked a mirror, especially for the price that I paid, which I think is like 50 Canadian or 70 Canadian. I'm pretty sure it cost me about 100 bucks. <laughs> just kind of crazy. 
let me just double check so yeah the palette cost me 70 canadian and shipping was 21.59 um it did take me a very long time to get here i bought this last year i bought this on the 9th to the 11th and it shipped exactly about a month later and then i think it got here around christmas time i'm not exact though that's kind of standard coming from so far away the shimmers in this palette are stunning the mattes are quite nice but they do tend to look a bit different once they're on the eye this one confuses me when you put it on and this one just looks a, i mean it looks a little bit different as what's underneath my eye at the moment the browns the mattes the mattes are just a bit weird they're a bit odd but they are beautiful um and it's one of those palettes that you just sort of gonna have to swatch before you do use it just to make sure you're getting that exact color you're right you want but if you're just enjoying using it, you're gonna you're gonna have fun. So it's got little holes in the back that you can poke out, but it is um, grainy to the touch. And I've already got stains on it, which I did show you in another video. But ultimately, it's a beautiful palette. It was seventy Canadian dollars. Do I think it was worth that? So there it is. There it is. So the other day, um, I would have done my three looks one palette with the Bombshell Cosmetica. This goes for 50 US, that was 70 Canadian. I got this product for half price, which I think is like kind of fair. That's like 25 US, that, 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 that's how those shadows perform to me. This, I would say is sort of like on par a little bit with the Anastasia formally in that it's quite loosely packed. And yeah, I feel like, uh, like 50, $60, $50, yeah. I feel like it's maybe slightly overpriced, but I do understand why they are the price because they hand make them and spray paint, which is a cool feature of these. And I feel like if that's something like, this is just a palette that I've watched so many of my favorite YouTubers own and I just wanted to be a part of it. Um, and to me, it's a collector's item in makeup. I think there's gonna be one more release coming up at some point of these. And I am curious, I'm tempted to get the Paleo palette I'm not sure though, but I do quite enjoy, I have quite enjoyed these. Um, and it's quite unique in a palette combination. So I'm not complaining. I do really enjoy, I have really enjoyed playing with these. Uh, the formula is good. It's solid. It's, it's every eyeshadow in this performed well, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Anyway, I'd absolutely love to know what you think of the looks. Which one was your favorite? I mean, I can take no creative credit for any of them. They are all from the beautiful mind of Angelica Nyquist. And it's just that I was looking for a video that someone did this and no one has done it yet. So I hope you enjoyed my recreations. I hope I have done like even the little bit is like service to Angelica because that girl is talented. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. Anyway, mwah.